Hello everybody, my name is Mark Vevoda and welcome to Tesla Prints. At least that's the name of the channel for now. Um, today I'm going to make a video uh, kind of talking a bit more about the Flash Player end of life. And I'm going to focus in on people who are trying to enable the, uh, what I talked about in some of my other videos, the enterprise enablement feature. And if you need to kind of do some troubleshooting, maybe you entered a certain pattern to the whitelist file, it's not working or you don't understand what's going on. So uh, what we have here is we're going to talk about the Flash Player debugger. Um, and that's a utility that Adobe has in their website. And it's basically the Flash Player but with debug information, you install it, and then there's a few additional things you can take a look at to see what the player's doing. Anyway, so let's uh, take a look at an update. Uh, this is just a number of days ago, December the 2nd. Adobe added some additional information about end of life. They said they'll no longer be supporting Flash Player after December 31st. Um, and Adobe will block Flash content from running starting January 12th. 2021. So, you know, mid January timeframe is when everything just gets blocked automatically. And we've seen that in my previous videos. Um, okay, so that's their announcement. I'm not going to go through those details. We can see here on the Verge uh, website, they talk about the same kind of thing. This is the, uh, there was an update that uh, Adobe released this week. It's their last official update ever. Um, and they also talk about the January 12th date right over here when the flash player is going to stop working. Okay, so where do you get this debug flash player? Um, so I have it right here. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different debug flash players depending on what browser you're working with. Um, so there's one for Internet Explorer, there's one for Firefox, and a big note for the Firefox uh, one. On Windows, there appears to be a bug um, with Firefox creating a, a very important log file, the uh, flash log.txt we're going to look at. So that's for the 64-bit version of Firefox. Uh, there's some issues with this debug player creating a log file. Um, so just a note there. And then there's uh, down here, this is the one I downloaded, the uh, content debugger for Oprah and Chromium-based applications. So I've... Uh, gone ahead and I've downloaded that and I'm just going to install that uh, actually I'll wait till I close my browser to do it otherwise Windows is going to force me to do a reboot um, but I'll get to that in a second so just a couple things once you've downloaded this it replaces your existing flash player with a, a version that you can uh, do a bunch of extra things uh, you can create an extra configuration file which then will start logging uh, what exactly it's blocking uh, to a special log file so you can see um, why something's not working. We'll try to go through an example today. Um, so this again is the uh, Flash Administrator Guide. We've talked about this before and you can see here they talk about this uh, enable reporting or sorry error reporting enabled setting in a file and don't confuse this with our previous videos in a file called mm Dot cfg this is not the mms this is mm.cfg and this file stored in a different location um, and how to do all of that um, they talk in this link here to get information about how to configure the debug player and so that's what this video that's what this page here is and you'll notice in windows they go they tell you to go to your percent home drive percent and home path percent now i'm going to show you something here uh, so there's a few tricks. So if you just paste that in, and I'm using Windows 10 here. Uh, let's do that again. Copy, Control V. If I just paste it in, it's not going to work because you'll notice it's got two slashes here after C colon. Um, and that is, if you take a look at your DOS prompt and you type set, um, it's going to show you all the environment variables and these percent home drive and percent home path percent are environment variables and so from a command prompt if I type set I can see home drive is C colon and home path is backslash users backslash mark underscore on this computer and so that extra backslash in there is messing with me so if I paste this in get rid of the backslash 
now it goes to the right folder. So in this folder, I have to create a text file called, and remember how it defaults to uh, .txt, I don't want that. So mm.cfg, uh, yeah, I wanna change the file extension, and we're gonna edit that in a second here. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and open that in Notepad++. All right, so I'm going to, uh, on my Linux box here, I've already done this. I'm gonna quickly open uh, this, this Windows session you're seeing here is the virtual machine. So I'm gonna open my Linux box here and do a quick check of the contents of that file because I forget what, the, what it looked like. I will paste an example in this video. Actually, I don't think it's supposed to be located there. Forget where it's located on Linux. Um, oh, it is in my home directory. So let's type the contents of that file. And I will copy that and paste it into this file here. So I have error reporting enabled equals one. I have trace output file enabled equals one. I have policy file log equals one. Just a bunch of settings. They're all described in the flash debugging page right here, what they do. I'll go ahead and save that. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the browser. I'm going to install that flash debug player. Yeah, and once it's done, we'll check a few things. Apologies for my slow Windows computer, it's a virtual machine. Okay, so we've done that. So supposedly we've installed it. Um, let's check, uh, can I reopen? And again, all of us are seeing this in our browser. Flash will no longer be supported after December. Turn off. We do not want to do that. Um, now let's see if I can open those tabs. Great, I can. So coming back to this page where it talks about this. So now that file, according to this page, is called flashlog.txt. There it is. Um, and where is that log file located? If I, first of all, you create this mm.cfg file in the correct folder. Now the Flash player is going to create a debug log file. And under Windows, it's located in, yeah. I'm not sure if this is correct. I guess we'll take a look on Windows to see if it is so. I have a feeling it may be somewhere different. Yeah, it is actually somewhere different for Chrome. So this information is outdated, if I remember correctly. And we're just going to do a quick check on that. Um, and how am I going to do that? I'm going to use my command prompt. And I'm going to do a quick search for flashlog.txt slash s and it's nowhere to be found at this moment in time. Um, okay. Let's, tr maybe I have to load some flash content first. Let's try that out. So here we go, allow. And if I do a search for that file, it's still not found. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this and I'll figure out where it's located. All right, uh, so I just took a little break to do some research. Um, so I use this tool again, Process Monitor, because I believe the documentation from Adobe's site is uh, a little bit old for older versions of Windows and they probably haven't updated it for Windows 10 because they probably don't care anymore. So in the tool I added to my filter um, look for flashlog.txt, look for mm.cfg, and of course in my previous video I talked about the mms.configuration file. So when those get accessed, let me know. And you can see down here when I tried to load some flash content from Chrome, it's looking for that file in 
the same folder as the mms.config. So I'm going to go ahead and copy mm.cfg over here. And where before it said that it couldn't find that file, I'm going to clear this out and try this again and see what happens. And now it found it. So the question is, did it create that configuration file? And yes, it did. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. So now if I go to um, uh, a path that's not even documented whatsoever, but uh, it's basically under whatever your username is, so C colon users and then your username, in the app data folder. So let's, I'll show you a little shortcut to get there. So I type in percent app data percent. It's going to get me part of the way there, but it gets me to the roaming folder. So I go up one and then I go into the local and then Google and then Chrome user data default pepper data, shockwave flash, writable root, and then this logs folder. Lo and behold, there's a bunch of log files that are created here. And if I take a look at flashlog.txt, right now, nothing's there. And I think from my previous testing, this might only log things that are blocked, but we'll take a look at that. So let's come back to the browser here. Um, Actually, let's uh, let's take a look at my configuration file real quick. So we can see here that we've allowed ultrasounds.com. But if I go somewhere else, and I guess I'll just load this log file into Notepad++ and it should automatically update. If I try to load some other Flash content, what other Flash content do I want to load? Let's just pick some random thing here. Um, Flash player help. So if I go to this page, check now. Um, I think this might be updated, but I'm not sure. Maybe this wasn't a good example. Reload from disk. Okay, nothing's happened there. Uh, let's load the policy file. Interestingly enough, the policy file says root level SWF loaded so ultra, it, it's kind of verified that the uh, that previous test of ultrasounds.com worked fine okay um, let me see if I can try a real flash player test here not this Adobe one um, all right let's go to codegeek.net um, says you do not have flash installed, but I do. Oh, but I do. Okay, maybe this isn't the best page to try out. All right, uh, check if flash player is working. Here we go. There's an easy way, yeah, that's not helping me. Sorry guys, I just want to find a simple flash player test. Other than the one that I have working. Um, all right, here we go. So I will try to allow this one and this is blocked because I'm using that whitelist and I didn't do this one. So you'll notice here now it's logged something in flashlog.txt and you can see there it's web.something.edu and whatever and it shows in here that the enable allow list is blocking that SWF file because it's not matching the uh, configuration that I have in my config file which is only for ultrasounds.com I don't know if it mentions the ultrasounds.com in here anywhere. But nonetheless, it is saying that it's blocked it. 
uh, and the policy files is here and it's saying okay it's allowed loading of macromedia but so this is what's okay but here it's showing what is blocked so that log file can be very useful now let's let's just try something here let's say I make a mistake in my configuration file and I'm going to simulate that right now so I think I already have this open in here and let's say I mistype this to you know some name that that's doesn't match the website I, I made a mistake and now I come back to this page and I think I might have to close the browser for this for that whitelist to work properly because I've already enabled flash for this so let's go ahead and do that so let's close this out um, close out all the instances of Chrome let's reload those recent tabs and here I'm going to try to okay let's see if the uh, text files have updated yes they have um, okay nothing there so now if I try to enable this it's blocked I made a mistake in my URL how do I know what's going on I can come back to these log files and now we're going to see that uh, it's trying to access ultrasounds.com and it's a security sandbox violation so it's blocked and if I come over here and look at the policy files um, this is talking about some internal uh, website from Adobe but this is not ultrasounds.com so it did not allow it so then you go back look at your configuration file and you know see oh, okay is it not matching so let me make sure that the uh, URL it's trying to load here and make sure that if you don't have if you did like uh, in my configuration file maybe you put HTTPS in there instead of star so it could be that you did a secure or an insecure version of the website and if it doesn't match properly it could block it so in my case I'm gonna go ahead and fix the spelling mistake don't know if I have to close the browser again or uh, and in this case now it's automatically working because I made that fix and if I come look at these log files right now it's not blocking anymore and if I look at the policy file it's okay to load ultrasounds.com so guys I hope this video uh, is helpful to you um, I just showed you how to install that debug version of the flash player uh, where the log files are stored all that kind of goodness i will paste the details in the description of the video if you like my channel subscribe click the like button helps us out and have a great day thanks and stay safe with that flash end of life